Spaces allow teams to group related materials, keeping end-to-end -end workflows manageable and efficient. Let's see this in action. We click the plus sign to create a new space or explore the list of blueprints. Blueprints are tailored to specific workflows like customer journey mapping, agile team events, and technical design. We'll create a blank space and name it New Feature Launch. Then we'll invite cross-functional team members and assign roles like owner and co-owner. We set access permissions to edit, comment, or view to ensure that everyone has the appropriate level of access. Two things to note regarding permissions. First, users with any access to a space will be able to view all content in that space. Second is a user maintains the highest level of access, meaning if they have view access to a space, but edit access to a board in that space, they maintain edit access to the board. Once members have access, they can create boards and formats like diagrams, tables, slides, and documents, and even add content from other tools with the embed option. We can further organize spaces with sections. So engineering creates their content here, and design drags and drops their research here. Everyone on the team pins this space, so it's at the top of their sidebar for easy access. As you work, you'll likely need to reorganize from time to time. Move content between spaces by clicking the three dots, move to space, then choose a space and click move. With spaces, teams can keep even the most complicated projects organized and streamline their workflows.